this is not what I saw. I did not see living in a home with fear. And it's a beautiful home. I love my home. Ayana and David Powell moved into Heroes Commons at Jefferson Park in Paramore last October. The mortgage-free home is part of a housing program for vets aimed at enhancing the Paramore district. But these disabled veterans say their dream home has become more like a nightmare. The, the kids on the roof, um, the drug deals that's happening on the front porch, the fighting that's happening in the front yard in the back. There's Security cameras caught some of the fights in their front yard. Look at this gentleman. He's got a bear in his hand. This is video the Powells believe is a drug deal on their porch. When the lights come on, they're gone. There's youth on the roof. This time, their neighbor's house, Keon Madison. They vandalize stuff and, you know, just, just hang out all times of night and make a lot of noise. But the, the cops come and they clear them out. The Powells are so fearful they sleep in shifts. He sleeps during the night and I sleep during the day. They say Orlando police has been helpful, but officers can't patrol 24-7. We just were hyper vigilant all day and we both suffer from um, PTSD. So that definitely doesn't make it any easier. Um, there's gunshots. The Powells have four daughters and they don't even allow them to come out here to play because they're concerned that it's just not safe. This unfortunate incident. Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill called a meeting of law enforcement, recreation and housing officials Tuesday to discuss the concerns. This was a community that had some inner city issues. The goal in coming weeks is to get information out to the Paramore community about existing programs for kids and if needed, their parents. I just really think they need an a area where they could go play, a playground, basketball court, something, some type of program to, to keep them busy. Are you fearful for your lives, for your children's lives? Definitely, all the time. In Orange County, Gail Pascal Brown, West 2 News. Guys Heroes Commons has six homes. Three are occupied and three are under construction. The city of Orlando's director of urban development says that they are checking to see if any youth involved in these alleged activities had been suspended or banned from the Boys and Girls Club or the ACE school and why.